What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is your fearless shift leader just hopping on live to check in with y'all. It's a rainy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. It is a rainy, rainy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's cold and it's rainy. So I wanted to go out and film a shift today, but that ain't happening. What's up, Alicia? What up, Lazaria? Billy, what's up, y'all? Hey, Sylvia. Original Tiki, what's happening then? Sandra, Deb, Kari, Penny, Mary Jo, Kletisha, Vicky, Carol, Gary, Marcy, Seth, Melanie, Tammy, Sasha, Laura. I sound like DMX on this song. It was Tisha, Letitia, Kim, and Leisha. <laughs> what up, Gloria? Becky. Grunge truck, what's happening? Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Susie. There's Chris. Y'all, what are y'all up to? It's a rainy day here in Atlanta. I wanted to check in with y'all. I got my spirit box with me. Okay, answer this while I have a few of y'all here right now. Y'all remember in, uh, I guess that was yesterday's video. Uh-oh, somebody done dropped something on me. Melanie, thank you. Thank you, girl. Y'all, I think it was, it was yesterday's video when we was out here and um, they were having the funeral. And seemingly the person that was being buried came through and spoke to us for a little bit. So I'm back over here in the same cemetery and it's raining today. But the uh, the green awning is still up. And you know that little gray, that little gray box that we saw at that other cemetery is sitting on top of it. So like, what is that? Here, look. Let me see if y'all can see this real quick. Hold on. Ooh, it's raining. Look, can y'all see that? So what is this? Hold on, let me see. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in. Why is the, uh, if the funeral was yesterday and the, yeah, the funeral was yesterday, why would that gray thing still be on top of it like that? What does that mean, y'all? Y'all know everything. Y'all, my graveyard shit family knows everything. They put the casket in the vault. So then you're telling me that casket is and that body is is sitting above ground right now. Right. So right. So y'all are saying it's a casket cover. Somebody say Dalen go open the box. Uh, no. <laughs> Hell no, man. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to understand how that works. Because for one, I never even knew about these silver boxes until we stumbled upon them one day. And y'all tell me, y'all always told me that the casket goes into that box and then that box is in the ground and that's what's sealed up. That's what y'all said. <laughs> okay, now it's raining. Kim said because of the weather. So Kim, my question is, is the casket inside of that box above ground right now? Dang, y'all are saying yes? Okay, some of y'all saying yes, and some of y'all saying no. You know what? I ain't fired nobody in a long time. I'm gonna fire somebody because y'all, y'all testing, y'all testing, testing the shift leader today. <laughs> y'all think I ain't gonna fire nobody. Y'all getting lackadaisical with your work ethic. 
Now, I'm going to ask y'all one time. <laughs> uh, Nick, you better play the middle, Nick. Because if you, if you get it wrong, you're fired. <laughs> uh, it's going to be layoffs today. Yeah, we ain't had a layoff in a minute. Now, I'm going to ask y'all one more time. Pick your side. Pick your side. The question is, is there, well, Spider Queen, you better, you better pick the right answer. Thank you, Heather. Don't think you can buy your way into a position. You can, Heather. You say your job is safe, Heather. <laughs> but listen, is the body in that gray? I'm going to show y'all one more time just before y'all make y'all answer. Before you, before you tell me your answer, I'm going to show you one more time. Is the body, is the casket inside of that gray box above ground in this moment? Because of the weather. I've just have never seen that before. That is super interesting to me. Because now I don't know how I would feel if that was my loved one and I knew it was raining outside. And they was just above ground. In a like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we got a lot of yeses. We got a lot of yeses. We got a lot of yeses. Y'all better hope y'all are right. Or this company gonna be down to two people. It's gonna be down to two people. I don't know. That's wild. That's sad though. I mean, I get it because it's raining. So theoretically, they probably can't fill a hole in the rain like this but it didn't start raining until this afternoon that the funeral was yesterday we was here yesterday when they were doing the funeral i would have thought they would have put the dirt over the casket in the vault yesterday look y'all we all we always learning something we always learning something we always learning something I'm going to do a spirit box session, but I'm, 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 I'm going to cut the spirit box on. But I'll, I'm not going to disturb whoever's resting. But if, if whoever's resting want to want to talk, I'm here to listen. If that makes sense. The Lord said they probably took the, uh, the cast it somewhere else. So someone just asked the shift from the airport. Do I feel like the pilots see spirits? Mm. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. But I wonder if like the security that that drives that has to check that area throughout the night, if they see spirits. Thank you, Melanie. So, you know what I'm saying? I wonder if they do. Because I went, you know, the, the, the pilots are just flying over off the runway. But I wonder if, like, the security guard that goes and checks that area throughout the day and night, do they ever see anything unusual? Because you got to, y'all saw the video, you got to go through a, a windy back road with barbed wire to get to that cemetery. I seriously doubt anybody ever goes out there. And y'all always tell me, and I ain't gonna lie, I thought I saw something now, like a little orb fly by <laughs> in the screen. Thank you, Stephanie. I thought I saw a little orb fly by, but y'all always say in the car when I'm at the graveyard, y'all see like little orbs and stuff fly by. Let me see. <laughs> Some lady wrote me, wrote me and was like, I like when you talk to people. What'd she say to me? The gist of it was I'd be all over the place in my videos. There was no cohesiveness to my video. But she was commenting on a live. And I was like, that's not fair, guys. Lives are supposed to be spontaneous. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to this. I may go off on a tangent talking about bowling and I might do a spirit box session in the rain. Who knows? <laughs> I like talking to y'all because you got to realize when I be doing these spirit box sessions, I'm by myself and it's at times it can be very, very frustrating. I try to keep a smile on my face and be engaging, but at times I'm like, I can't hear. I'm playing guessing games <laughs> like I'm trying to just pull stuff out of like one word that I'm hearing 
And it can be very, very frustrating at times. But when I'm live, I get to read y'all's comments and it feels like you're really, really here with me. So that's cool. I love y'all for that. I appreciate that, Kim. I appreciate that. What you say? Uh, thank you, Ken and Billy. Uh, uh, but yeah, y'all. I enjoy it. I enjoy y'all. I enjoy these conversations. It makes me feel like somebody's talking back to me in real time. But I also love the spiritual conversation because even though it's like, I liken it to crawfish. One of my favorite foods is crawfish. Stacy doesn't like crawfish because she feels like it's so much breaking up a little piece of shell just to get a little bit of meat. It's kind of like the spirit box session. You have to go through a lot of white noise and words and conversation to get to the meat, but it's worth it and it's beautiful. Boom. Whoever's resting here, my name is Daylin. I come in love, peace and respect. If there is anyone here that would like to speak to me, I am open to come for conversation. To the person that's newly resting here, if you would like to come through and speak, I'm totally here for that as well. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to me? No. Somebody said they're busy. Thank you, Catherine. So, my name is Dalen. Can you tell me your name? I heard somebody waiting for my family. Okay. Is there anyone in particular? Thank you, Spider Queen. Is there anyone in particular that would like to speak to me? Said I might. Okay. Can you tell me your name? Somebody's desperate. Oh, there's Mary Ellen. Why are you desperate? Something about a verdict? Yes. You're nervous? What are you nervous about? Thank you, Mama BM. What are you nervous about? I heard David. Here he is. David, are you new around here? Is the person that's resting here, is he around? Say, yeah, you know it. Is he here resting above ground? They say no. Yeah. All right, let me give it a second. Let me give it a second. Judy, thank you, Judy. Lucky Charms. It's called the Sono X10 Spirit Box app. Sono, S O N O, the letter X, the number 10 Spirit Box app. But again, you can use whatever app you would like to use, y'all. Uh, yeah, you got to use what works for you. You can try any app in the app store. I know people want to want to see other stuff, but it's just it's frustrating to like. I'm the type of person. Ah, well, I guess I got to just practice. 
I've been using this same app for shit, since probably 2016. So I've just uh, like my ear has become acclimated to the sound of the box, the rhythm. I know what words come out frequently. I know what's something that's different. I can tell the different voices. Like I've just become very, very comfortable with this one box. That's why I always use it. And I know that it works just because of the countless times it's proven to have worked <laughs> in these shifts. So for me, there's just no other reason for me to switch to something else when it comes to spirit boxes. But I try some other stuff though. Definitely the SLS cam. Ooh, I could do it. With, can I do it with this? Let me see. Do I have it on here? Who is it by? Ghost Tube. Oh, let me see. I have it on my iPad. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. I, I just got one hand. Hold on. Give me. A, I mean, I got two hands. <laughs> Give me a second. So this is the SLS cam facing outward of the window. Hold on, let me do it this way. It's okay, my car can get wet for y'all. I love y'all enough for Big Red to get wet a little bit. Okay. Clearly, that's probably the flower. Thank you, Felicia. Okay, so we, the two hits right there are clearly the flowers, right? What if it wasn't, though? What if that was a spirit? Let me switch hands, y'all. My apologies. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. Let me get it together. <sighs> That's that flower. I mean that, yeah, that flower and headstone. Thank you, Pamela. Yeah. But I wonder why just those two, maybe because they're the closest. Like, why doesn't that one hit right there? With just these two. <sighs> I don't know, y'all. What y'all think about that? It is cold. What y'all think about that? What y'all think about that? Used to try the ghost tube seer. What is that? Somebody says, I don't think that that was a flower. I don't know. I like to always err on the like, the debunking side. So I like to say maybe it was the flower until I get like some real, real, real hardcore. But I do question like, why didn't the other flowers pick up? What if there were two spirits those two spirits were sitting at their grave. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said walk on out there. Man, it's cold and it's raining. <laughs> I just left my other other job, y'all. So I wasn't prepared to shift. And then it was raining. And I was like, dang, if I don't do a live, then a video won't come out today. And that's not cool. Um, Friday, we got a, we got a, we have a really cool video dropping Friday. It's the story of little Mary Fagan, little Mary Fagan. 
Look up that story. Be ready because you will have a pop quiz leading up to it on Friday. Little Mary Fagan. All right, let me see. Does anybody know the story of Mary Fagan? I, heard, I like people. So the spirit that was talking to me, are you outside of the car or inside of the car? What did they say? Did you say that you are you talking to me from inside the car with me or outside the car? I could have swore I heard inside. Well, I apologize if my car is junky. Okay, if you're in the car, are you in the front seat or the back seat? You say it just depends. But are you in the front seat or are you in the back seat? Did y'all hear front? It's a lady? Susan? Miss Susan? Are you sitting next to me, Miss Susan? Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, how may I help you, Miss Susan? Miss Susan, are you uh resting somewhere around here? Okay. Is there a okay? Is there a way that you can let it be known that you're here? Now no She said now I know Shauna. I got some for you though. Let me see, let me see. Dang, I need my other. Okay, Miss Susan. Uh, what made you get inside the car? They said long shot. Were you trying to get out of the rain? So, okay. it, when it's raining like this, can you get wet too? Okay. But, in all fairness, you do know that this is your home and you have to stay here in this resting community, right? Like, I will always come back here and visit you, but you gotta stay here, okay? 
Yeah. Her, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Is there someone else in the back seat? Her just looking. Open. Open. Open what? Okay, let me tell you why this feels It feels weird Because I don't know how I feel about that I don't know how I feel about that What do y'all think? Y'all keep saying y'all see an orb Y'all thought it was Miss Susie's orb Oh no The idea that If it was any other resting community I would probably feel a little creeped out but I come here so often, I feel like everybody here be chilling. <laughs> but I used to be an Uber driver. I told you, everybody now used to be an Uber driver. And I've had some sketchy people in my car. <laughs> I've had some very, very, very sketchy people. And again, I don't judge <laughs> as I'm judging these sketchy people. <laughs> but I, 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 it, it's been times where I've been like, all right now. Where are y'all taking me? <laughs> That's what this, it doesn't feel like that, but the idea that it can now happen makes me feel that way. Cause yeah, Miss Susan had like, wait, was it, was it Susan or Susie? Cause I don't know if I don't, what did they say? Was it Susan or Susie? Susie's my grandmother's name. So I don't know if I just, if I'm just mistakenly now keep saying Susie and it was Susan. Okay, it was Susan, right? Susan. Dang, why I keep saying Susan? And now, and now maybe my grandmother is <laughs> thinking of me because I keep saying Susie. Hmm. I love you. All right, Susan. The idea that Miss Susan can be sitting in my car and someone could be potentially sitting in the back seat that I cannot see. Like, you don't know their intentions. Yeah, Miss Susan might be cool. But what if Teddy ain't? <laughs> what if Teddy in the backseat with a straight razor? <laughs> Get your words off me, Teddy. But in all in all reality, that's wild. Because you don't know. You don't know. And I just always kind of hoped and felt like the spirits was always outside when I was doing sessions like this. But to feel like someone could be sitting inside is just it's wild. It's wild. I've tried the Necrophonic app. I'm a, I'll try it again. I'll try it again. I'll get it together. Okay. Maybe I'll do that this week. Maybe I'll make a video out of that. Maybe I'll get like a, a few other apps. A few other apps. And we'll just try them out and maybe rank them. Is that a fair video? <laughs> or is that a waste of all of our time? <laughs> like maybe I'll download as many apps as I can. And try all of them out for like five or six minutes. Enough time to just see. And then, uh, yeah. We'll see if we like them or not. Alright, I'm gonna try. Y'all better watch it, man. Don't make me make this video and then don't nobody watch it. And I'm sitting there looking crazy. <laughs> I think the Necrophonic app. I put that in place number two. <laughs> Get your ass out of here, Dayla. Back to Miss Susan. Are you still in the car, Miss Susan? So, Miss Susan, wouldn't make somebody said I'm done. Wouldn't made you feel comfortable enough to come sit inside the car? I'm 
Is there someone in the back seat? I heard on a date. I know who name better not come out. Thank you, Libertina. Li I like that name. What'd you say? Uh, daily, when in mom and bodies, I know it's a lot of energy with me. Would you go to a morgue and do a session? But I love it. Okay. Hold on. Let me. So you work, you're an embalmer? Hold on. Let me go back and read that. You said, Daylin, when I'm embalming bodies, I notice a lot of energy with me. Would you go to a morgue and do a session? Wow. Wow. How can I get inside of a morgue, guys? Like a real one. I ain't, I ain't talking about them old haunted ones. I'm talking about like, an active one. That is wild. Somebody said don't do it. Jamal said don't do it. And anytime a brother named Jamal tell you not to do something, you better listen. <laughs> so look. Libertina. You are an embalmer. What type of energy do you feel like you felt when doing something like, dang, I feel like I wish I could like call you, put you on speakerphone real quick. What's happened? Write it in the comment section. Like what? Because you're getting somebody like even before going in the ground. So they're probably really probably confused at that point. Jennifer, thank you. They probably really, really confused at that point. Yeah, if you can, write something in the comment section, please, Libertina, and like, let, you know, I don't know. Hopefully everybody can read it. Oh, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Jennifer, thank you. I don't know if I told you thank you, Jennifer, but thank you. That's wild. So how can I get inside of a, okay. We need to do a funeral home and an active morgue. Do y'all think that's possible? Nana, Nana Helen, thank you. Do y'all think it's possible to get access to a morgue? Nah, they, are, or are we doing too much? We doing too much? Y'all got me real excited to like, and I'm not in, this, not in the sense of like excited, but like, I'm so curious about this stuff. Cause I'm, That's interesting. Because what if you could go to a morgue and there's like bodies in there? I would feel like there would probably be souls around there that are confused, concerned, have questions. Mm -hmm. We're going to see. Somebody said somebody let me. <laughs> huh. Okay, y'all got me thinking. I like that. I like that idea. Somebody said, Charm said, maybe not a good idea. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, y'all. I don't know. <laughs> we thinking out loud. We thinking out loud. I'm just curious about what the activity would be like. What the conversation would be like. Mm, mm, mm. A hospital morgue. All right, let's see if anybody else is in the car. Is there anyone else in the car with me? I heard we're here. I heard we know Shauna. What is your name? Bill. Where are you from, Bill? Oh, 
Bill, what made you get in the car? <laughs> so you had answers? I have answers to what questions? Our doorway. Your doorway? I let some people out. Are there other spirits waiting to get in the car? That it's Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We got what? 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 She say? Uh. Libertina says some religions send over priests to help the restless souls cross over. I don't mind speaking with you. By the way, Libertina means funeral goddess. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. That's really, really interesting. Kevin said he dug grave for his family members. Any child spirit in the car seat? It may not be no damn child spirit in my baby car seat. Hey, man, if y'all sitting in this car, y'all are cool, but that's one place y'all can't sit, man. We got to be respectful, guys. <laughs> I come in respect. I ask y'all come in here in respect, too. And just leave my baby car seat alone. See, y'all be having me, y'all be having me forget stuff like that, man. Now my baby got a hundred car seat. <laughs> my baby got a hundred car seat. <laughs> because daddy went to work and left it in. Left it in the car. No, nah, but for real, y'all, please don't sit in my baby car seat. Like honestly. Like, with all due respect to what I do and what y'all do, please respectfully leave my baby car seat alone. Thank you. Love, love, love. Gotta be, gotta be real about that, y'all. Like, that's it all seriously. Like, please. <laughs> I clear the front seat off for you. <laughs> we can chat up here like an old taxi driver. Just not on my baby car seat. Not my baby car seat. Is there anyone in the front seat with me now? I heard Agnes. Why are the ladies getting up here in the front seat? This ain't to open. Thank you, Johanna. So what can I help you with? Wait, what did you say? Did you just want to get out the rain? This is why. The man in front of you? You know what's crazy? It. It feels like somebody's in this car. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to be funny. It feels like somebody's in this car. I ain't got the um the antenna for the rim pod. But it still go off. Let me see if I put it right here. Maybe I put it right here. Can y'all see this? Put it right here by y'all. Johanna, thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, I mean, I know you can't see it, y'all, but it's right here. You can hear it. 
you can hear it if something does touch it my antenna is in the back you have to unscrew the antenna because if you travel with it the antenna breaks off easily so i unscrew the antenna and i put it in like a pouch so the antenna is somewhere in the back but it still can go off if somebody touches it the antenna just broadens the area so if there is someone in the car my hands are here <laughs> feel free to touch the machine that's on the dashboard and that will let me know that you're here and to be honest between us thank you armin i don't like this rim pod i feel like it's like too hard to make go off if that makes sense So like if that rim pod, ever, like it's never, I've never had it go off ever, ever, ever. And I've never had a rim pod that has never gone off. So if that thing ever makes a sound, I'm launching it. Because <laughs> that means somebody is here for sure. All right. Who's in the car with me now? It's like taxi cab confessions. Is there anyone in the car with me now? You gotta damn near touch this. You gotta be right by the antenna. Okay, if you are here. Can you touch this little gray button right here? Can you get close to it? Yeah, now. Can you do it now? Thank you, Stacy. Somebody said no. I promise you, it will not hurt you. It will not harm you. I said everything in both. It won't hurt or harm you. I promise it won't. It will just let me know that you're here for sure. If you can just do it one time. Really? You gonna just make me look bad in front of my people? That's wild, man. That's wild. That's wild. I said, why stop? Somebody said, ask the spirits to touch it. You must have just, you must have, you must have just logged on. <laughs> Somebody said, am I legit? Do y'all see that? Too legit. I am too legit. Look, I don't never profess or proclaim to be anything. So, like, I, I, I am nothing but Dalen. <laughs> I don't profess to have no superpower. I am not a superhero. I am nothing but a brother with a box. You can do the same thing I'm doing <laughs> with the same app I got. And ask the same questions I do. So, am I legit? Too legit to quit, baby. Alright, so I put the box in the chair. The box is in the chair, y'all. And just to, and just so y'all know, Jawan's ass is who hyped me up to get too legit tattooed on my finger <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, Dalen, you know what'll be cool? If you put two legit on one hand and to quit on the other. Yeah, I ain't your one. 
Now I'm 40 years old with two legit on my fingers. All right. So we have the spirit box sitting in the chair. Same thing. You just got to touch the little button. They say that I lose a bet. Eh, possibly. <laughs> possibly. All right. Is there someone sitting in the seat now? They said, yeah, Bill. That's the second time we've heard Bill being up here. Thank you. Oh, it failed. Oh, Lordy, help me, Jesus. Help me. Brian, what you say? My P.O. box? Yes. Sylvia, thank you. Hey, does anybody have my P.O. box on hand? Does anybody have my P.O. box on hand? That they can write it in the comment section. All right, who gonna get promoted? Somebody want to get promoted? <laughs> who want to be? Who gonna be shift of the month? Who gonna come through with the P.O. box? You know what? I'm finna fire somebody. I'm finna fire somebody. I am finna fire somebody. I tried to fire some people early in the shift, and it didn't work out too well. But I am determined to. I gotta make an example of somebody. I gotta make an. That's what I gotta do. I gotta make an example out of somebody. I ain't fired nobody in about eight months, and y'all done got comfortable. Oh, there it is, Anthony. Hold on. Oh, you can't, I can't pin that in the live? Oh, they won't let you pin nothing? Ah, uh, whatever, guys. Anthony got it, though. Anthony, employee of the month. With the best work ethic, Anthony Hologonis. <laughs> See, y'all need to be a lot more like Anthony. Anthony come to work on time. Anthony clock in when he's supposed to clock in. Anthony pick up where y'all leave off. Anthony, please leave your employee of the month speech in the comment section. And I need everyone who did not win employee of the month to read it out loud at your house. Anthony, please type your acceptance speech and everybody else read it out loud since y'all are not employee of the month. Woo! Love y'all guys. Anthony. Oh yeah, you see how it works? No, I love y'all. Y'all know I can't fire y'all. Y'all know I can't fire y'all. But Anthony, Anthony, you win a free t-shirt, Anthony. You got to remind me, though. <laughs> you got to remind me. <laughs> you got to remind me. The next t-shirt drop. All right, we got a lot of uh, uh, submissions for t-shirt designs. So probably next week, I'm going to start posting them. But Anthony, you get a free t-shirt, brother. Write me. Yeah, just remind me. Kelly, I appreciate you watching since day one. I appreciate you, Kelly. But flattery does not get you a promotion at the graveyard shift. All we care about is work ethic. That's all we care about. Work ethic. Ethic. Not ethic. Ethic. My email address. My email address is thegraveyardshifttv at gmail. The Graveyard Shift TV at gmail.com. The Graveyard Shift at Gmail. Somebody said they think there's a teenager in the back seat that wants to go for a ride. Let's check it out. Is there someone in the back seat with me? Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> Melanie, you good. You good until next month, Melanie. I heard me. Can you tell me your name if you're in the back seat? Brentwood, thank you. I heard it's me now. 
Can you tell me your age? Y'all said it was a teenager. Here. You know what? Let's test your abilities. It's raining out here, guys. Y'all tell me who y'all feel like y'all sense or see in the car. I will then cut the box on and we will see if y'all are right. So who on here feels like they sense or see somebody? This this gonna get you fired. Oh yeah, this how we gonna this how we gonna fire somebody today. Who willing to put their skills to the test? Who is a medium or can sense someone? Don't tell me who you see yet. I'm gonna pick one person. I'm gonna pick one person. Are you willing to put your job on the line? If you are wrong, you will be terminated. <laughs> now nah, you're gonna be terminated, but you're gonna be put on probation. I'm gonna pick one person, one person. So if you feel like you have the ability to see or sense who is in the car with me, please type the word yes right now. And I'm gonna pick one person, one person. Please type the word yes if you feel like you can see. All right. First person, we're going to go with Terry Block. Terry Block. Terry. All right, y'all. I need y'all to slow down the comments real quick. Terry Block, who do you see in the car? Terry Block, who do you see or sense in the vehicle? A woman in her 30s. A woman in her 30s. Let's see. Now, Terry. You better hope you're right. Is a woman in her 30s. Let's see who's in the car. <laughs> Okay. Is there anyone in the car with me right now? I heard Dalen get off. I heard Darlene. Did you say your name was Darlene? Did y'all hear Darlene or did I make that up? There's Shauna. I just got a little short of breath. Y'all? My heart beating kind of fast. And I got a little short of breath. Who's in the car with me? Who's, can you tell me who's in the car? I heard me. What is your name? I heard music. I heard music. I'm gonna cut some music off. We in the car. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if uh uh oh. All right, I don't want to get uh, fined by YouTube. Did you like that music? 
I said pretty much. <laughs> what type of music did you like? Can you tell me what made it get real heavy in here for a second? Say we're forcing? What are we forcing? Is there anyone in here with me now? A lady? Okay. All right, Terry. Can you tell me how old is this lady? I heard 40. I heard 40. Okay, can you tell me her name? Her grandma. Uh oh. People are hearing Claire. Y'all heard the name Claire? I didn't hear that, but yeah, apparently a lot of people heard Claire. Claire, are you here? I heard please, please hunt for us. Where are you? Claire, are you in the front seat? Claire, how long have you been resting here? Claire, is there anything that we... Does it not seem like a lot of the spirits said today that they came with Shauna? Claire, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Okay. See, that's why we need to be live more often, y'all. Because y'all catch stuff that I don't catch in real time. And I need that. So, if y'all like me going live and being interactive with y'all, we can do that. Along with the shifts. But, like, I don't mind going live a couple times a week. Even YouTube suggested that. Like, they in my weekly recap, they was like, hey, you should go live more often. <laughs> really, YouTube? Is that what I should do? But, yeah. If y'all like these live sessions, we can definitely do these more often. Maybe, like, two or three times a week. Cause this, this is easy. It don't take... It's the editing that takes all the time. Oh, yeah. Only reason why I don't do the lives, because a lot, is because people... I feel like people get upset because they don't see the words popping on the screen. And it's because they feel like it's, it's harder. <laughs> so if y'all don't mind doing the lives, I will definitely do live. Y'all can tune in if y'all want to. If not, you ain't got to. Okay, what time of day works for y'all for lives? Y'all let me know. 
Y'all like morning shifts, midday shifts, or evening shifts, or night shifts to go live. Around this time, so like around five, four or five o'clock Eastern. Mix it up. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do some night work. I got some night work lined up. Y'all, I got a big, I got a big old light. I'm talking about a big old light. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna be able to say it's too dark. I can't see. No, nah, man. My only concern now is being out here with this big old light <laughs> and signaling a UFO. <laughs> but now, once it stops raining, I'm going to come do a night shift for sure. For sure. I am not going to go lift that box. That's just disrespectful. We don't be disrespectful, y'all. We can't go over there and lift up that box, man, and see what's going Because then what if, what, if they, what, what if the casket is in there? And then it's like, damn, I'm already here. I got to open the casket. <laughs> and it's like, that's just crazy. So I ain't even going to be that person. Like, I know me. I know my limits in life. I know what, what one foot leads to the next with me. <laughs> and if I get the cojones <laughs> to go over there and open up that gray box, I'm in it at that point, guys. <laughs> I'm in it at that point. I got to see what's in the next one. I got to. And that's exactly why I'm staying my ass in this car. <laughs> y'all, it's been an hour. I didn't think we was going to be on here this long. I didn't think y'all was going to come fool with you, boy. But I love y'all. I'll be back tomorrow. Remember, check out Mary Fagan. M-A-R-Y-P-H-A-G-A-N. That's the story that we are tackling this Friday. Little Mary Fagan. So read up on the story. Get your questions together. It's another who done it. So let's get to it. Catch you tomorrow. Love, love, love. Thank you, Bishop. Appreciate you.